Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I was trying to spray my, uh, sh shuffle my deck and this one decided that it wanted to come out. Okay. Uh, you are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intended immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All negative and... Huh? What in the world y'all saw that? All negative intentions of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final, baby. Somebody don't want me saying that prayer. They say religion and spirituality do not go together. We need her to stop saying that prayer. There's something about her prayer that works. It does, it does, it does. You don't even know how to formulate that prayer. That's why it works, it works, it works. It's, it's a sacred prayer. It's a sacred prayer. There's some words in there. Yes, it works. <laughs> That's why they don't want me saying it because it's working and they're hiding it. Anyways, let's go ahead. People that get people that are bothered by prayer, you know it's something wrong with them. <laughs> it's something wrong with them. <laughs> something wrong with them. <laughs> anyway, something wrong with them. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the tarot. You may have someone that was wanting to take some type of impulsive action to come towards you. Maybe they wanted, wanted to come in and make it seem like they were advocating for you now. Now they were supporting you. Something may have backfired. Destiny may be playing out. Things are going in your favor. And there's an emperor out here that may more than likely believe that something was going to go out in his favor. But now he's looking into things. He said, mm, I don't think this is going into our favor. We've been doing a lot of child's play out here. Just doing a little bit too much on that chucky time. But apparently things are not going in their favor because you are still destined to be content and fulfilled in life regardless of what these people have been doing. It's a little bit shocking to them. Okay, they're, they're, they're shocked that you are still moving forward. They're shocked that things are going in your favor. They're shocked that, uh, you know, destiny has, has picked you. It said, listen, 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 Linda. Listen, listen, Johnny. She, he has put in the work. They stuck to their contract. You've been out here doing too much. This is why it's a lot of chaos and conflict going on amongst you all. Because the Queen of Pentacles is still moving forward in victory. While you've been trying to stop them, their strength. Maybe someone said you are a little bit too strong. Whether you're a man or woman, they say you are too strong. This Queen of Pentacles, baby, they say you are too strong. But you're moving forward to victory, to your bounty, your harvest. You fought hard for that stuff. And they got these people burning out here. They say, who the F is this mother effer? They may be asking someone, listen, who is this woman? Who is this gentleman? You told us they were weak. Apparently, they were not. Some are very innovative. Endless opportunities. Hopeful in life. They are so burdened about you being uh, regardless as regarded as someone of high honor. Okay? People may feel very much... Uh, 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 what is the word that I'm trying to use? Somebody don't want me doing my uh, 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 read. You're very high vibrational. People feel compelled to be around you. People feel compared to... Compare, compelled, compelled to be in your energy. Thank you. Let me write down that big old sophisticated word. Excuse me, excuse me, because you know they say I'm edu uneducated around here, okay? And so I've been learning my ABCs and one, two, threes. <laughs> you know we got to play play along with the karmics. She's uneducated. I said, oh, you know, yeah, honey. Can you teach me my ABCs? In which language, though, are you going to teach me? I got to be careful. I got to be mindful about this one. Is it French or English? Spanish? Which one are you going to teach me? My ABC thing, because I need to learn. Don't even try the African dollar, because you don't know about that. Anyways, folks, this emperor out here was wanting to take some type of uh, action. So this is I'm picking up on two different emperors. Let me stick to the tarot reading because all that okay. Let me stick to the to the tarot reading, folks. 
There's an emperor out here. There are two emperors. One wanted to take in some type of reckless action or come into your energy, gaslight you, play with you, act like he was investing in something. But you see right through this unhinged creature. Okay? You see right through him. You know clearly that someone is a manipulator. You two don't got no business being together. Okay? Nothing. And he knows you pick up on that. So he may be ending up moving on. He's moving on with his life, cutting his losses and moving on. Maybe he wants to go partner up with someone else. Good, good readings for him. And then you got another emperor that is coming in to do just that. Partner up with you. So maybe the good emperor is shushuing the shush, the bad emperor away. So he may want to come in and invest in you. Give you clarity about a situation. Someone's very determined to come towards you. Moving on with his life from a karmic family dyna dynamic. Listen, I just can't talk today. Let me get a sip of my water because I'm sick and tired of these people in their spell work to shut me up. <clears throat> they want the truth out here. The star seeds have to know the truth. Okay? This is a news channel. Correction. This is a spiritual news channel. So I got to do my job. Leave me alone. Let me be happy in peace. With my four dollars in my account. Let me be happy. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hey, I got... Listen. My antennas are being used for communication to the spirit realm. So let me do my job. I got to bring clarity into situations. This is my job. Okay? And I got to be careful of the decisions I make. What I say. So that the, 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 the people upstairs, them upstairs can get what it is they need to. I'm on a tenner. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Everything I download just is just being transmit, trans, transmitted to the spirit realm. So let me be. Let me do my job. Okay? I try to do it with a little bit of flavor to it. The Cynthia flavor. Let me be. Let me be. Uncensored and stuff. <laughs> ah! Okay, let's go ahead and get back into the tarot reading, folks. <laughs> There's somebody that comes on this platform. I picked up on this person. Even be mad. At I said bad split my deck. Somebody be bad as heck. Why do you keep coming back? If some, if you don't like something or someone, why keep watching them or coming around them? It's just those do this up. If it's me, if I don't like you, I'm not entertaining you. Anyways, you got a, a emperor in the upright that may be willing to come towards you to give to you, uh, balance the situation out. And it's not, you know, something he's, I don't know, this emperor is kind of confusing. It says someone wants to come towards you, but he's afraid of rejection. Maybe somebody already took action to come towards you, but they weren't able to get a hold of you. And they may be heartbroken or something that they got to move on. Someone is cutting their losses and moving on. This could also be a situation where an emperor may have taken some type of impulsive action and invested in the wrong thing. Now he's kind of having to bite his his tongue, cut his losses, and move on. Moving on in heartbreak. Moving on in disappointments. Someone may not be feeling too well because of how things are playing out. Maybe they expected things to play out in their favor instead of you. You could be a queen of cups. There's a queen of cups out here that's been uh, 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 collaborating. I don't know if this is the leader of the karmic squad, you know, karmic veil, whatever this is, but she's been collaborating. They're plotting some type of attack on someone whether it's a masculine or feminine energy we are dismantling their attack immediately all evil plans of your enemies against you all evil intentions of your enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak okay nothing is going to come into fruition that your enemies are plotting against you you will always have the opportunity to take a new direction the universe has endless opportunities for you you are an empress energy and your queen of wands energy got this sword pulled out with this page of swords out here and you're just waiting for the mother effort to <clears throat> it's not you it's not you it's your ancestors it's your ancestors someone is looking at what is coming to you and they are so pissed off about it someone wants you to be in a five of pentacles four of pentacles kind of energy Three of Swords energy. They don't want you receiving any type of assistance or abundance in life. They don't even want you receiving your blessings, your destiny, okay? 
your birthright. They want your birthright to go to someone else. You know how those two brothers, uh, 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 um, Joseph and uh, Abel, whatever his name is. What was it? Lord, I don't remember. Y'all know I'm spiritual. I used to go to church. Joseph and who? It said the voice is the... I got to figure this out now. Joseph was the favorite brother. It's Cain and Abel. Okay, I'm thinking about it. Joseph is the one with the colorful coat. His brothers didn't like him because he was his father's favorite. Cain and Abel are the ones that the brother went and pretended to be his brother so he could get his brother's birthright. But he had taken his brother out. Okay. All right. If it ain't, correct me where you are. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. Lord have mercy. I don't come a long way. So be a, a Bible fanatic. Now I'm a spiritual fanatic. It's at the, the voice Keen and Abel. I think it is Keen and Abel. Okay, let's see. Let's move on with our lives. <clears throat> it's made up anyways. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get up in here. Get in here, folks. Get in here. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's get in here. This is going to be an interesting read. <clears throat> Just like I said, someone was rushing in to give you some type of opportunity or something that was not worth your time. This was a false opportunity. Someone was coming in to mislead you. It was going to come in and make something seem like it was the bee's knees. It was something that was going to make a change in your life. It was going to be fulfilling, but it's a secret. This was to bind you to them. Okay, but you are too strong for somebody. This was all a setup. It was a setup to have you trapped, to undo you, okay? Temper with your energy, your image, manipulate you or something, but you saw right into them. They could be that cup you're looking into and say, I see you, you slimy creature. I see you, okay? So someone is heartbroken that one, the decision that they made, they made it either uh, out of his, uh, out of some type of insecurities or whatever this is, and they're having to move on. Uh, they're not getting no Ten of Pentacles with you. They're not... Baby, I don't know who this man is, but this man feels entitled to somebody. Somebody? Somebody. Can anybody tell him to move on? Listen, it looks like he's moving on with heartbreak, disappointment, no munting, no new beginnings with the star C. It is as it should be. Something of that nature. Okay? I don't know who this man is, but there's something that's not going in his favor because this is someone very toxic. If you're an emperor and you know you're not toxic, then you know this don't got nothing to do with you. But if you're an emperor out here that is an emperor publicly, but behind the scenes you're a, a nightmare, you're the opposite, you're mentally unstable, mentally ill. Baby, we ain't talking about you. Stop taking on these personalities, these character tricks, that are not yours, okay? Because there's a lunatic out here that thinks he's going to force some type of situation with a feminine energy. This could be him. I don't know. But whatever he was coming in to give you is not happening. The universe said no. Your contract with this person, if you ever did have a contract, it's over. It ain't no new beginnings. Spiritually, it's over. And somebody may even know that this contract with you and them are over. It's, it's over. O-V-E-R. Okay, so they want to make it seem like they're advocating for you while destroying you behind the scenes. He said, oh, I like Maria, but they're destroying Maria's business. Maria's been investing in her business for umpteen years, months, weeks, and he's been destroying it from behind the scenes. But he's trying to sweet talk people, make it seem like he's an advocate the whole time. He's not an advocate. This is someone that's a destroyer. So it's a no from the universe. Someone is uh, like he, he's frustrated. He is frustrated. He's being delayed. He's going through delay. He's being blocked out of your energy. This is someone that plays dirty and don't care about how it affects other people. Someone plays dirty for no reason. This is someone that could have taken the right path and partner up with you. And you two would have built something very successful and abundant. But this is someone that does not know how to play fair. Like someone only plays dirty and then they get pissed off when things does not go in their favor because someone feels entitled to what belongs to other people. He don't care how he gets the money, whether he earned it, didn't earn it, whether he got to steal it. He don't care. He still wants it. 
Okay? Still one sip. Dang. Anyways, this chapter is over, folks. Oh, yeah, it's over. This is a comics chapter that is over. Dead and gone. Whatever collaboration you were supposed to have with whoever this brute is, this unhinged creature is, is over. This is some, it's someone trying to steal from you. Steal your abundance, steal everything from you. Your life, your joy, your favor, your destiny. Just cause you a lot of heartbreaks. There's some type of union that's supposed to come together. Someone has been working very hard behind the scenes on how he can cause some type of distress or separation within that union. He wants someone to see you as an unfit option because he's he has gotten obsessed with you. And then he knows you don't want nothing to do with him. So he says, sure, if I can't have her, you can't have her. So maybe someone was coming towards you to give you an offer. And this unhinged creature got in there, told some lies, or did something to block the person from coming towards you. Uh, because you don't want to be with them. You don't want to be with the unhinged creature. You said, absolutely not, sir. We see you. You can keep pretending to be something you're not, but I see you. I see you. So he said, if he can't have you, no one can have you. But that he's not God. Someone's life is about to be so dismantled, he won't even know what hit him. That he's going to be looking at pictures of himself from back in the days. He said, dang, I had it real good. Why didn't I appreciate what I had? Why did I keep going after that, uh, 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 that star sea? Why didn't I hold back? What was wrong with me? Don't worry, you're gonna find out. You're gonna find out. Okay? You're gonna find out. Anyways, thank you for watching, folks. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.